Uh, first of all, when he pulled out of this, the share price went you know, flying mm. up, meaning that it was definitely a strategy mistake. And now activist investors are coming in. I mean, yeah. are his days numbered? Well, it doesn't exactly inspire confidence, at least for Jope, when you have activist investors now stepping in, when you clearly have a disgruntled investor base because they send share prices higher when the activist does step in and when this deal fails. If anything, it just shows it's going to be a lot harder for Jope to push his vision forward if we have an activist investor. Are his days numbered? Well, they're certainly going to be harder whether they're numbered or not. I love how Jeffrey's analyst put it, saying the fox would now appear to be inside the hen house. The force and temperature of debate around Unilever now looks set to rise by several notches. Do we, do we know how he's going to respond? Jope's going to respond to this? We haven't any indication mm. as to his, his background, recent history, what it means for how he's going to adjust to this and well, change well, in, in light of this. Jope's strategy had been one of aggressive acquisitions. Mm. This is something that he had built over a few months putting the base in the UK, switching to be UK listed. So that has historically been what he's advocated for a strategy for Unilever. Now, will he be able to do that with an activist investor now here? <clears throat> it's going to be more difficult considering Jeffrey's analyst, the same one I was just quoting, also talks about breaking up Unilever. I mean, this is very different than Jope's vision. So it's going to come head to head, uh, possibly with this activist investor.